I go to the movies. It's something that I do from time to time. As you are probably well uh, knowing about it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so uh, this movie, I saw it at the Regal. If you can even believe it. And in addition to that, it is a movie based on the true story. And it is a sad story. But one that uh, helped change some things a little. So uh, the movie, it is called Till. And this movie, it is about Emmett Till and his mom. Mostly about his mom, you know. Because, uh, so this is a true story, so I don't really know what could possibly be spoilers about it, because it's kind of a famous story. But, uh, yeah. So I'll say that, uh, the acting was great from everyone involved. And, uh, the... It was, it was, uh, shot really well. And it was pretty. And I didn't notice any movie-making mistakes. So it was, it was a well-done movie, you know? And, uh... So obviously the story is about the, the, the boy who, uh... Was from Chicago. And he went down to visit some cousins in the South. And, uh... He... He, uh... The, the story is that he acted inappropriately to a white lady. You know, and so the movie makes it seem like what he did was innocent enough sort of thing. And I have no reason to believe that that isn't what happened. <laughs> Obviously. So, but uh, down there, they, they took this as a, a great offense. And they took him in the middle of the night. And they, they beat him to death and killed him. So. And they dumped his body in the river. For some reason. I don't know. I guess they were trying to hide it. I, I kind of thought they were like proud of it. Sort of thing. But then I guess maybe they thought they needed to hide the body or something. But. So his. They found the body, and his mom had him send the body up north, and she famously decided to have an open cast casket funeral so that the world could see how awful what happened was, you know? So if you're watching this movie, they don't... They don't show... Because I was a little bit worried that they were going to show the beating of the kid, you know? And they don't. So just just so you know. But they do show his dead body a lot, which is fitting, you know? That's fair, because that was, that was like her whole point of doing the open casket. It's like, you need to see this. And obviously, this is a recreation sort of thing. But, you know, they didn't shy away from it. They showed it, you know, and it was grotesque. And it was, it was, uh, it was really messed up. <laughs> so... And then they, they they do a part of the movie where it's like the trial of the two white guys. And they make a point. This movie really drives home that the woman was evil. <laughs> that that accused him, you know? And, you know, there's different stories about her. But I kind of I kind of think that she was pretty evil. <laughs> My opinion. You never really know what's going on in these people's heads and stuff. But... You know, so it's the part of the trial where she, like, went on and said a bunch of lies. It was after the jury was gone, and I don't know why they would, the judge would allow this. But she she got to go on the stand and say what her side of what happened. But, and apparently, you know, it was just awful what she said happened. And the way they portray the boy, I don't believe that at all. That hit that is that would be completely out of character for him entirely, so so it's it's kind of like, but you see stuff like that happen nowadays still. It's unfortunate, but it's like whenever a black 
person gets killed immediate, immediately in the media, they, they throw up pictures of them looking like gangsters and stuff like that. And, you know, try to say, oh, this was an awful person. Um, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, it's a sh it's a shame that the world really I mean it's changed, but in a lot of ways it hasn't really changed. People are just awful to each other, and that's real messed up. So, <laughs> so uh, what what's some other stuff about this movie? Whoopi Goldberg is in this movie. That was surprising. I didn't know that she was going to be in this movie. She plays the grandma of Emmett Till. And the, the mother of the mother <laughs> of Emmett Till. <laughs> so she's got, you know, and she did, she did a, a, a fine job. I, it wasn't a comedic role at all. She was just, man, and I haven't watched The View or seen Whoopi Goldberg in a while, but she's getting kind of big. <laughs> not like I'm not, but, <laughs> you know, so it's like, oh, wow. <laughs> But I had never seen her play a part like that before. You know, the sort of big mama sort of role. But, um, yeah. So, obviously. I mean, the movie went into some interesting complexities, too. Like the, the fact that she was just trying to get a conviction for those two guys, but there's all this, like political maneuvering trying to get her to do something else you know and how uh that obvious political maneuvering gave ammunition for the other side to say that it was all a hoax you know that sort of thing that is a concocted thing to with her and the NAACP and all this other sort of stuff you know and then uh just the different uh, dynamics between uh, the black people from up north and the black people from down south, you know. And the black people from down south being like, you don't understand the the decisions you have to make when you're living down here. <laughs> you know, the way, you, you know, it's the, there was this confrontation, you know, between... Uh, Uh, I guess it was it was her cousin or something but it was I don't think it was her brother but in some way these people were related to each other but you know Emmett went down to to visit family down there and basically the the man of that house or whatever you know uh, Emmett's mom and uh, him you know they have to have like a confrontation sort of thing it's just, uh, oh yeah, and there's, uh, they said that there was, a uh, like some, some black people in on killing Emmett too, like black people that worked for this white guy or something, you know? <laughs> so, I hadn't heard that before, if that's a true detail. But, uh, yeah. I mean, this is one of those situations where I, I know this is based on a true story and the basic things that I know, you know, are put in this movie, but like all the other stuff, I don't know if it was changed for dramatic effect or anything like that. So I can't speak to whether it was faithful to what actually happened, I guess you could say. But uh, overall, I thought it was a it was a good movie. It's a movie that people should see. You know, see how messed up things were and compare it to how things are now and notice how things are still kind of messed up in certain ways. But, yeah. But anyway, all that, that's just my opinion. And my opinion doesn't matter and your opinion doesn't matter. We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do as a culture. And no one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop ourselves. So, those are my first thoughts and opinions. I've thrown them up on top of the thoughts and opinions pile. They will soon be buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions, obviously. 
But, uh, yeah, for what it's worth, I thought it was a pretty well-made movie. It was a good movie. So, anyway.